Hey there my friend, this is Derek and today I just want to show you a short little video that shows you how to create custom banners or custom images for a blog using Keynote. Now Keynote is much like, um, it's much like the, the, the Microsoft product called PowerPoint, but Keynote is a little bit better, I believe, and uh, in fact, I think of it, I think of it kind of like key, uh, uh, PowerPoint on steroids. So, what I'm going to show you today is how to actually use it and create custom images. I'm going to show you a few secrets you'll probably pick up on. If not, uh, there should be some other tips or something here later on that you'll be able to pick up on. So, uh, first thing you want to do is you want to go up and click on uh, after you create a project, go up and click on the shapes. And I like my um, I like my banners, or I like to create banners for my blog post. It's a little time consuming. It's not for everybody, but uh, it's definitely a way to go. So you go up there, and um, you go up, you go up to the top, click shapes, create your image, and then what I want to do is I want to make sure that the image is uh, the background is white. So the color fill here is going to be white. And as you can see, the border here is black. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into blue. And today's project is going to be for um, is going to be for Evolve, which happens to be a water company inside of the network marketing industry. And, um, and really quick, let me show you what it'll look like. It's going to look similar to this, if, if not exactly like it. So uh, there's a few things here, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my background or my, my, my banner here, and you can see the outline of it, but I want it to pop a little bit. So I'm going to go over to the right in my little control panel here and click Shadow, and it's going to give a shadow on there. That way it gives like a 3D effect. And I already have some pictures lined up on the side. Let me show you what the first one looks like. Uh, this one's water. Uh, it's pretty big. Obviously, it won't fit on there. But I want to capture that entire that entire size and everything on here. So what I'm going to do is first, um, let me put a shadow around this and show you what the outside is. You can see down here that there. This is a this is a JPEG, obviously. Uh, but you see all this white. I want to cut that white out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and click Alpha, and it's going to help me to eliminate a particular color. Now in this situation, it happens to be white. So I'm going to click, and then I'm going to drag just a little bit, and let the tool just eliminate all that white for you or or for me. And then I'm going to click off of it. And now you now you can see that there's a nice clean image. And uh, let's take off the shadow. And now you can see that uh, you know it cut out all that white and that extra space. So I like what I see here. I want to use that as the background. I'm going to go ahead and slide it over, and then I want to hit Mask. If you go up next to Alpha and you hit Mask, you can actually choose which section you'd like. So let's go ahead and cut this to fit exactly uh, the way we want this to fit on here. Alright, I think that's about it. Okay, so we let go of it, and as you can see, it needs to be resized a little bit. Let me bring it down, and let's give it a shot here. Let's figure out if it works. Okay, so there you go. It fits on there nice and perfectly. Now, the next thing I want to do is include, uh, this is a shot of the founders. Uh, great, great corporate staff, great corporate team over there at, uh, at Evolve, and what I want to do is include them on here and make the uh, the banner look really stylish. So once again, I'm going to go up and I'm going to alpha that background, that blue background behind them, and I want to cut it out. And uh, I want to make sure that while I'm cutting it out, I don't drift into people's clothing and I uh, just get like the outline of their of their bodies. And that's a great place to start. So what you want to do after that is touch up. So now what you can do is you can actually zoom in on these pictures and get a little bit closer by expanding the picture. You can get in a little bit closer and cut out the uh, all, all the close little blue that surrounds them and there we go and as you can see it's cut out all the way around them looks nice and sharp and clean now I want to cut in between these arms here I want to cut away that blue on both sides And now I should have a pretty good little image. There you go. So what I want to do is, you can see like the, the edginess and the sharpness around the outside of the pictures and stuff. I want to give it a little bit more pop and uh, make it look a little bit more, you know, 3D. Um, and also kind of bring away the attention to the, uh, the sharpness of that cut. So here we go. We got this whole picture. I want to make sure I get the name Evolve in there. I want to get the corporate staff in here. Resize it before I go ahead and mask it. And uh, okay, so now, now now we've got both pictures here. We've got it on the banner. Uh, what I want to do now is go ahead and mask this picture of the founders. And that way I get exactly what I want out of this picture. And 
And there you go. All right, so what you do now is after you have this all lined up, and it looks pretty good, you know, it's 3D, it's got the product in the background, it's on a popping banner, it looks pretty sharp now. So what you want to do is if you're on a Mac, you just simply take a screenshot, which would be a Command Shift 4, and when you do that, you can actually drag and click. And this is, this is typically how I make all my banners, and you just drag and click, come down, and take a snapshot. And that's pretty much it. And then all you have to do is simply resize the the uh, the actual image, the picture you just took, and make sure you label it correctly and do all the SEO stuff to it. And then you just simply throw it up on your blog, in front of the blog post, and you're set. Now, there are a few other little videos here that I will be coming out to show you how to create custom uh, banner images or... Um, uh, rather uh, opt-in pictures so if you're looking at my blog right now there's a good chance that on the right hand column there is actual uh, there's an opt-in form and I created that the exact same way as well so with that being said keynote and creating pictures and images it's I find it to be a extremely helpful helpful tool and uh, for any of you Mac lovers or Mac users out there I just showed you a few insider secrets that took me years to learn and perfect. So good luck, have fun, and this is Derek Aragon signing off. Take care. Bye.